thinking about lately? Uh, the secret to happiness? No. Your wedding gown? No. Your dream home? No. Well, yes, I do think about those things, but I also think about my babies. Your babies? My babies. Babe, life in quarantine has really taught us how to become more self-sufficient. Whether it's learning how to cook, to bake, to now growing our own food, this new normal has taught us how to become more sustainable. So if you want to start your own urban garden, then you're in luck because today we'll be talking about five produce that you can grow from scraps that you would normally throw out. My name is Lara Liman, your DIY Pinay, try lang ng try. And let's start planting in three, two, one. One of the easiest vegetables to grow from scratch is celery. Just make sure that you get one that's in a bunch like this because the individual stalks won't work. To start, cut the stalks two to three inches away from the base of the celery. Then put it into a bowl and submerge it in about an inch of water. Don't drown it. Replace the water every three days to keep it fresh and make sure it gets adequate sunlight. After about a week, or when you see new celery leaves on top and roots at the bottom, you put the celery in a pot. Make sure that it's planted about one inch deep in the soil. Easy peasy, done! Another crop that is fairly easy to regrow is potato. For these root crops, just find potatoes that have eyes on them. Leave them in a dark place. Once the eyes start to have sprouts, they're ready to be planted. Cut the potatoes in half and plant them in the soil with a skin facing upwards at least four inches deep. So make sure to get a deep container for this because once the stems begin to grow, you're going to need to add more soil on top of it. Potatoes do not require a lot of care. Just make sure to water them when the top soil is dry and give them a lot of sunlight. Your potatoes will be ready to harvest once you see flowers on the vegetative growth. In the meantime, fries anyone? Up next is a kitchen staple, garlic. Plus, it's a no-brainer to replant as well. Once you have this and once done right, you'll be able to use freshly picked garlic in all of your recipes. To start, get a few cloves of garlic. Make sure to get the big juicy ones. Fill your container with soil and plant your garlic two to three inches away from each other with the bottom part placed firmly on the soil and the pointy end facing upward. In four to five months, your garlic will be ready to harvest. You'll know this once the shoots start to dry or turn yellow. And once you have your new bulb, you can plant new cloves again. If you're going to plant garlic, you really have to plant its main bro, right? You know it, onions. Like its bro, onions are a no-brainer to grow indoors. Simply cut the root of the onion, leaving at least an inch of onion. Then, recycle your old plastic bottle by cutting it in the middle. This will prevent the water from reaching the onions while still growing the roots and shoots. This will take about three to five days. Once the roots have appeared, they're ready to be planted in soil. Get a container and fill it with loam soil. Firmly but carefully place it on the soil, Cover it with soil until the shoots are the only things you can see from the onion. Water it daily and place it in a sunny area. After four months, you will be harvesting your very own onion. <laughs> and for our last plant to grow from scraps, we have tomatoes. Slice your tomato into one fourth inch thick slices. Juice slices with the most seeds for more chances of winning. Fill a pot with rich potting soil. Lay the tomato slices in the pot, like you would in a pizza, in a circle. Cover them with more soil. Water the pot. And always keep the soil moist, not soggy. 
you'll see that the seeds will begin to germinate in two to three weeks. In 40 to 50 days, you'll be able to harvest your very own tomatoes that you grew on your own. And there you have it! Five produce that you can grow from your own table scraps. But remember DIY Panais, if your plants don't grow as they should, don't lose hope. Some of the plants that I've tried didn't grow right away, and others didn't even germinate. But to increase chances of growth, try talking to them sweetly. After all, love is always the answer. I'm Lara Liman, your DIY Pinay. Try lang ng try. Uh -huh.